What's up everybody, back for another vlog. And this is the first vlog that I've made in quite some time. The last vlog I did was the non five beer related things about myself, but that was more of a tag video, even though I put it in as a vlog. So this is like the first true vlog I've done in, in a long while actually. And uh, I wanna forewarn you, this is gonna be a longer vlog. I don't know exactly how long, you will know when you're watching this, but I will post timestamps in the description box so you can jump to whatever section you want to. If you don't wanna watch the entire thing, I totally, totally understand, but uh, hopefully you do. Anyway, let's get right into the vlog. So the first thing I wanna say is I wanna give a heartfelt, a very heartfelt thank you to each and every one of you for uh, subbing to my channel because this past week, I actually hit 400 subscribers and I'm blown away. So I started my channel a little over a year ago and I didn't think I'd be to 400 subs at this point. I'm blown away. But uh, more importantly, I've really enjoyed the interaction uh, from all of the viewers, all of the subs. Um, you know, I usually get a bunch of comments for each video. And when I do my live Monday night beer reviews, I typically get 10 to 15 viewers uh, watching consistently. And everybody seems to be chatting along. We talk about all kinds of different beers, not just the beer I'm reviewing. So it's been a blast. Honestly, that's what it's all about. It's all about, um, you know, interacting with other people who enjoy beer and, you know, talking about our experiences. So. I will say, uh, going forward, um, probably starting sometime in the summer, I'm going to actually do a uh, like live beer show. What I'm gonna do is on Monday nights, when I do my typical uh, live Monday night beer review at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right after that, I'm going to do a live show and we're gonna just have you know other beer tubers on along with me, maybe some friends. And we might have topics some weeks, maybe some weeks we won't, but we're just gonna have a you know hour, maybe two hour show where we just you know kind of chat about beer and have a great time. So be on the lookout for that, probably in the summer at some point. Don't know exactly when I will obviously announce it when it happens, but uh yeah, that's because of all of you. We've you know just the interaction's been awesome. So anyway, thank you very much. I am kind of blown away at 400 and I can't even like, my brain cannot even um, comprehend that I'm close to 500. Like, you know, I'm less than 100 away, it's crazy. Anyway, um, the next thing I wanna talk about is kind of the uh, meat and potatoes of this vlog. So, upcoming within the next week, I don't know exactly when I'm gonna post this vlog, but it's coming up um, either next weekend or this upcoming weekend, whatever you look at it. The date is Saturday, May 25th of 2019 from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m the 2019 Albino Rhino Beer Festival. So let's do a little bit of a uh, background or a history or back history on the festival itself. So the festival is actually um, ran and hosted by Chad, AKA the Albino Rhino, over at the Albino Rhino uh, Beer Review Channel of um, YouTube. He is a fellow beer tuber. He's been doing it for seven, eight years now, I think 2010, 11, something like that. And uh, he has like well over, I think 4,000 subs at this point. Most of you probably know who the Albino Rhino is, but in uh, starting in 2014, he decided that he was gonna do a festival. It actually didn't start out like that. The original concept he had was what he was gonna call a, um, a it was gonna be a week long get together with a bunch of other Canadian beer tubers and some uh, US beer tubers. He was gonna call it Beer Tuber uh, Palooza. And it was just gonna be a week long uh, event where we just, you know, would go to different breweries and hang out, do a bunch of reviews, you know, everything like that. It kind of morphed into an actual festival. And he's been running it now for the past five years. This is the sixth annual Albino Rhino Beer Festival, and it's a great festival. Uh, typically, he has 30 plus beer and food vendors, some really nice breweries in the Ontario uh, province uh, or the province of Ontario. And um, yeah, just so many uh, really nice people that go to the festival. It's usually a great turnout. And the best part about the festival, hands down, is that all of the profits from said festival go to a charity. And that charity a charity is the um, Ronald McDonald's House of Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. So every year, Chad pockets absolutely no money profit. So he pays for all of his expensive at the end of the all of his expenses at the end of the festival. And then he usually hands the Ronald McDonald's House of uh, Hamilton a check. More often than not, it's you know thousands of dollars. I don't know what the high at this point is. I know he's well over six thousand dollars a couple years. And yeah, so the best part about the fest is that when you go there and you spend money buying drink tickets or you know buying food or whatever the case may be you know the profit is going to a charity that is a great charity and it's not just going back into the pocket of the owner. Um, so I support it every year because of that. It's just, an, an, I mean, it's a great fest 
anyway, I mean, you, it's eight hours long from 11 to seven. So you don't, you don't feel like you have to get super drunk right away. You know, like a lot of people get in there, like, oh, I'm just gonna get hammered. No, you, you can actually basically day drink and never even get drunk. You just enjoy yourself, right? That's what I typically do. And uh, there's a lot of different, you know, food trucks. So you, you know, try a couple different uh, food trucks. Although, do I really need any more? Probably not. It's just an amazing festival. So I will post links in the description box to a bunch of different things. But first and foremost, the exact details, like I said, Saturday, May 25th of 2019 from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Where's it going to be at? It's going to be at the Brimstone Brewing Company in Ridgeway, Ontario. If you need to uh, you know, know the exact location, just type in Brimstone Brewing Company, uh, Brimstone Brewing Company, and it will show up. And it's in Ridgeway, Ontario, a very small little town. And uh, yeah, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. I highly recommend it. If you're in the Southern Ontario region of uh, Ontario or you're in Western New York, um, I highly recommend checking it out if you've never been. It's well worth the money and you get to meet me and other beer tubers, the best thing ever. Okay, maybe not. But uh, if you're not in the region and you're not anywhere close and you want to help, you want to help the charity and you want to help Chad in general. Uh, Chad has said this many times in the past, over the, over the past couple of years actually. If you want to help, buy a ticket to the festival. Doesn't mean you have to come, but buy a ticket. The tickets are $25. And again, I'll post a link in the description box. I believe it is ticketscene.ca. But if you are, you know, thousands of miles away or in another country and you're like, I want to support the festival itself, buy a ticket. It will go a long way. It will have, you know, the, the, you're supporting a charity, you're supporting Chad, and you're supporting a great festival. So if you want to help and you're not close by, buy a ticket or two and uh, help that way. Uh, for the rest of you who actually show up to the festival and, uh, you know, I'm going to be there. A lot of other beer tubers are going to be there from um, Chris over at Off the Tenth, uh, Carrie A.K. Redbeard, um, Jamie uh, of Basement Beer Reviews, Ashley over at uh, Ashley um, at Sexton Brewing. Uh, did I say Chris over at Off the Tenth if I did already? Uh, myself, Chad's obviously going to be there. Our buddy Greg's going to be there. Paul over at PA Brew News cannot make it this year. Unfortunately, something uh, came up over the last week where he cannot get out of work. So that's a bummer because Paul always comes. And uh, it, well, not always comes. But Paul's come a couple times. And man, it's always always chaos in the best way possible. Also, our buddy Ewart, a.k.a. Teku Murray, uh, kind of a former beer tuber, but whatever. Ewart's a good guy. He'll be there. And yeah, it's going to be a great time, hopefully. So uh, if you're in the Southern Ontario area or West New York area and you show up, say hi. Don't don't be afraid to say hi to any of us because we're all very personable when, when we're at the fest and uh, it's a lot of fun. Anyway, um, yeah, so the Albino Rhino Beer Festival, Saturday, May 25th, 2019, 11 to 7. Should be a lot of fun. Hopefully I see a lot of you guys there. Now, the night before the beer festival, is a bottle share and it's happened every year since 2014. Chad usually hosts the bottle share, but the night before the uh, festival, he's kind of, you know, just locked in and he needs to make preparations for the festival. So it's one of those things where like he doesn't drink a lot and it's been, you know, the, the last couple of years he did it, he was like, you know, I he only had a couple of drinks and it's kind of just chaos. It, he has to get up early the next day, so it's not late. So last year, uh, the aforementioned Chris, he used to live on the 10th. He was on the 10th floor of an apartment complex, no longer on the 10th, which is why he's off the 10th. I'm confusing myself and you at the same time. But Chris hosted it in, in his apartment and we didn't like get any footage for that. We didn't we didn't do really any reviews or anything. All we did was a live stream. It's still up on his channel, but that's all we did. So this year, Ashley uh, has um, volunteered to host it at his house and we are going to review a bunch of beers. I actually have a beer sent to me by my buddy Earth uh, that I'm going to uh, review with everybody for my 400th beer review. Should be a lot of fun. A lot of people, usually too many beers show up at this festival, or sorry, at this uh, bottle share, and we always don't get to all of them. I'm only going to bring a couple. I'm going to bring a couple beers for people to share themselves or you know take back home. I'm only going to bring two or three beers to actually review at the festival. So there's not going to be a ton of reviews on my channel from the share itself. There, there is going to be a live stream. I don't know whose channel will be on. Maybe Nick over at Maxwell Star. Uh, Max, oh yeah, I, I forgot Nick was coming. Holy shit, sorry Nick. Uh, but Nick over at Maxwell Star, he flies in every year. He's a guy that's come to the festival every year. So Nick, don't kill me. I forgot you. It happens. Man, you're all the way in New Brunswick. What do you want me to do? But Nick is gonna, uh, I think, bring his laptop and his webcam. So we should have a stream going from Ashley's place, plus doing reviews that you'll see on everybody's channel going forward. We also have the guy set up in an actual YouTube channel called The Well and Piss Up. Uh, it's a play on the Manchester Piss Up when Paul went over to the UK and hung out with like. Um, um, Rob from Hopzine and um, uh, the Clueless Drinker, Peter and Craig from Kent Beer Reviews and those guys, he went over there and they had a channel called the uh, Manchester Piss Up. It was kind of just like, you know, 
like behind the scenes. And that's kind of what this um, Well and Piss Up channel is going to be. It's going to be very, uh, there's going to be a lot of comedic value to the channel. It's not going to be a lot of uh, like, how do you say, um, professional videos. You're going to see a lot of nonsense on there, but in the best way possible. So when you go over there, hopefully you're not offended. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of things that could offend a lot of people. Uh, but that, that channel is going to be specifically just for like behind the scenes nonsense. So, uh, if you want to sub to that, I will post a link in the description box as well. Uh, there, there's already a couple of videos up there. One, a couple by, uh, Chris and Nick called, uh, meet an influencer. That's a whole, like it's, it's, it, it's a, it's an inside joke that says, Anyway, they're still funny. It's still funny, but it is an inside joke. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna try to get footage from the entire weekend from the share to the festival and hopefully post a lot of that stuff over you know, the month of June and, and going forward so you guys get to see the behind the scenes and you know just the festival itself and everything. I was unable to do it last year, so hopefully I'll be able to do it this year. So the last thing I wanna talk about is uh, a potential new theme month slash week on the channel. So I've been toying in this puny brain of mine of uh, something to get more people uh, you know, involved in uh, pretty much communicating or uh, interacting uh, with my videos on my channel because a lot of the beers I realize that I drink are hard to get, uh, very niche or local beer. So a lot of you out there that you know are you know 15 states away or thousands of miles away, you can't get the beers I get a lot of times. And you probably don't watch those videos. Or if you do, you're just like, well, I can't get it. So what's the point? So what I have in store or what I have in my mind right now is that I thought in either July or August, I would do an entire month of not nothing, but every single day I would, I was going to say nothing but, but that's not the right way because I'm going to do other videos as well. But I was going to do an entire month of a, one review per day from a beer that I buy in a mix of six pack. So a lot of you guys are familiar and probably have them in your area, mix of six packs. Most grocery stores have them. Some, you know, bottle shops have them. For me, here in the Western New York area, I have Wegmans grocery store and Topps grocery store. They usually have a mix of six location and they're usually $10.99 for a six pack. And then I was also going uh, to go to another local uh, chain of beverage uh, stores, basically called Consumers Beverages. They have a mix of six um, uh, location as well in their in their stores. I would review one beer a month, uh, just of mix of six beers. So whatever 30, 31 days of just mix of six beers. And the reason for this is because most of the beers in a mix of six area, they're usually from bigger breweries. You'll see Sam Adams, you'll see, um, you know, Victor, you'll see Dogfish Head, uh, you'll see Founders, you'll see Bells, you'll see Lagunitas, so on and so forth. A lot of these beers you can get a lot of times are the new releases. So I'm thinking that if I did an entire month of that, it would probably be well received and you guys probably could get the vast majority of them. Now, the vast majority. Now, um, I wanted to do an entire month first to start. So either July or August. And then Every subsequent month after that, I would buy one mix of six pack and review that throughout the month. So if I you know, have six beers, you can expect one to two uh, reviews per week um, from that mix of six pack. The other thing I had in mind is because I do the reviews one to two weeks in advance, typically for my channel, sometimes even a month in advance, I would a week or two beforehand show you guys the seven beers that I'm reviewing for the upcoming week or the, or the you know week within the next well in, within the next two weeks. So uh, a week beforehand, I would post the seven beers and say these are the beers that I'm reviewing this week. And then this way it gives you guys a chance to grab those beers and maybe drink along with me or you know whatever. Go pick them up yourself and you know see how your uh, palate compares to mine and if we're getting the same tasting notes and the, the whole nine. Again, big interaction thing here. So. If you want to see that, I need the feedback because I'm not saying it's a huge endeavor, but uh, you know, I'd have to go pick up you know a couple mix six packs the first couple weeks and then one more because I'm probably gonna need five mix six packs. Here's another thing too that I didn't even think of until right now. That's gonna save a lot of money. You're talking 11 bucks for a mix of sixer. You throw in the bottle deposit. It's probably 70 bucks for um, you know 30 beers. I sometimes spend 60 or 70 bucks on you know eight to 10 beers. So it's gonna save me money in the long run too. But uh, if this is something you want to see, A, let me know, post in the comment section, tell me, yes, I would love to see that. I definitely would want that. And if you want to know the beers in advance, do that because that's another video that I have to, you know, edit and post and everything. So if I'm going to do this, I want you guys to be on board. So let me know. I need the feedback. Number two uh, is, what was it going to be number two? Oh, um, you okay with a whole month of it? And then after that, do, you know, uh, one mix six pack a month. Let me know about that as well. 
And yeah, I think it's gonna be hopefully fun if I end up doing it. So if I get enough people that say, yeah, that sounds like a good thing, then I'm totally gonna do it and we're gonna have uh, hopefully a good time. It'll probably be, like I said, July or August. We'll see, I'll announce it beforehand, but uh, yeah. Anyway, it should be interesting if I end up doing it. I guess we'll see. So anyway, this ends the vlog. I'm finally done. I don't know how long this is. I'd imagine at least 20 minutes, maybe 25. I don't know. It's fucking long. And I apologize uh, for the length of it, but I really wanted to get this all uh, out there uh, before I go to the festival and whatnot. And um, if you've made it to the end, if you've made it to the end, I want you to put a keyword in the comment section just to know that you watched to the end. And that keyword is uniform. Shout out to Greg, uniform. Put uniform in the comment section, then I know you watched the entire thing. And if you didn't, then I know you didn't watch and you don't care about the Beer Patrol and you hate my channel and you don't want it to exist. Now, I understand if you didn't watch this this far, I totally get it. But if you did, props to you. You are a trooper. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this does it for another vlog. If you watch the entire thing, I thank you. If you watch parts of it, I thank you as well. Just thank you uh, for supporting my channel. It means a lot to me. And hopefully going forward the rest of the year, gonna be a lot of great reviews, a lot of good content that comes out of my channel. Well, as good as I can make it, because let's be honest, it's still so subpar at best. Anyway, appreciate everybody stopping by. Oh yeah, this is uh, OCP, aka Oatmeal Cream Pie from Pigeon Hill. Um, you will see this review, uh, I don't know when, maybe beforehand, maybe after, I don't know. It's pretty solid though. Yeah, it's a pretty good beer. Anyway, appreciate everybody stopping by and until the next one, cheers.